There's a global race going on. And you're in it. The challenge, access 2.3 billion consumers. The deadline, the year 2020. The prize, $10 trillion. The $10 trillion prize, to be clear, is our calculation of how large the consumer economies will be in China and India in 2020. Welcome to the biggest, fast emerging business opportunity in history. China and India, home to the most dynamic economies on the planet, are unleashing a generation of new spenders. A huge and burgeoning middle class, hungry to consume, and a new upper class elite ready to prove their wealth and enjoy better, healthier food, modern housing, luxury cars, and global travel. This $10 trillion calculation about the size of the consumer market in China and India, it's a fact. You can bank on it. Many Western companies have spent vast resources over the past two decades trying to unlock the key to these emerging market customers. They know the playing field. But what they don't have is the rule book. Leveraging scores of on-the-ground professionals in China and India, experts from the Boston Consulting Group have accumulated original data, illuminating the challenges and opportunities presented by the highly motivated consumers in both countries. You will not find 8% real growth in two countries ever again in our lives. They will buy more food. They will buy more housing. They will buy more transportation. They will buy more health care. In 2010, the middle class households in China comprised just 28% of the Chinese population. They will rise to 47% of the total population in 2020, nearly doubling in size. Upper class income households will almost quadruple from 6% to 21%. The major trend is urbanization, increased density, vertical living, and relentless economic development. But the Chinese and Indian governments are also making significant investments in their rural communities. BCG data demonstrates that more than 20% of the $10 trillion prize will be won in China and India's vast rural districts. More than $1 trillion in rural China and $1.5 trillion in rural India. Food and housing will be the two largest opportunity sectors. Housing expenditures will quadruple in India and double in China, a sector worth $2.2 trillion. Spending on food will nearly triple, a sector worth $2.3 trillion. The Chinese diet is also making a dramatic shift over the decades, away from grains and towards meats. In 1960, pork, chicken, and fish comprised only 5% of the diet and will balloon to 37% of the diet in 2020. What does it mean for our clients? Across each of these categories that you see, whether it is food, home goods, transport, leisure, telecom, you will have multi-billion dollar opportunities. The Eastern version of the great American dream is alive and well. A house or two, cars, children, husband, uh, if possible, have a pet. But you must understand the psychology, aspirations, and goals of your future customers so you can tap into their bursting wants and needs. The Chinese consumer, in this particular case, will consume 39 times as much as the consumer born in 1960. Five years ago, China, the true middle class, was only the size of uh, France, 60 million people. Now it's 150 million people. That's bigger than Japan. And going forward in 10 years, that will be over 400 million. No nation in the world has that kind of size and scale of middle class consumer. But how do you reach them? How do you win their loyalty? By conducting deep research into the markets and understanding the specific geographies, segments, and sectors. Knowing the consumer close and personal, critical. If you're thinking about China as one country, then you're massively underinvesting here. You've got to think about China as a continent-sized opportunity full of regional markets or province markets. The opportunity in China, we're not talking about Beijing and Shanghai. We're not talking about the tier one cities. We're talking about 300 cities today. We're talking about 600 cities by 2020. There are many Chinas, there are many Indias. 
So which is the China and India that you are going to target is a critical question. Do you know the meaning of the Indian phrase, Paisa Vasul? It is the clarion call of the discerning consumer. They're demanding more for less, products with enhanced features at a low price. Are you ready for the boomerang effect? You need to be, because commodity volatility is coming as the consumption boom in Asia inevitably strains resources worldwide. Farmland in Argentina is going up in value because consumers in Delhi and Mumbai and Beijing are eating more. Have you met Mr. Number 19? He is an engineering student headed for an upper middle class life alongside 137 million other secondary degree students who will graduate in Indian China between now and the year 2020. Compare that to only 29.8 million students graduating in the United States over the same time period. Are you aware of the behind the scenes stories of the brands that are already succeeding today? Number one among them is Starbucks, which plans to build 5,000 stores in China over the next decade. Over the next 10 years, China is set to become the world's biggest luxury goods market, surpassing the United States. China will spend $245 billion, a staggering 40% of the personal luxury market. Foreign wine stores are exploding. It is one of the large import sectors for China. Understand the accelerator mindset of the entrepreneurs and leading executives in China and India. They have vast confidence and aren't beholden to common business logic. As they carry this energy and determination to the US and Europe, they will be formidable global competitors. I see ambition, I see optimism, I see aggression. 10 by 10. And what do you mean by 10 by 10? 10 times in 10 years. So you're expecting that you're going to take your roughly $3 billion company and turn it into a $30 billion company? Yeah. I wouldn't bet against either one of these countries. I would urge you to get into both. There's no time to lose. The contest for the $10 trillion prize has begun.